I'm on my way to Mantis FPV in Parramatta. I'm going to be trying walk style today and they're going to be converting one of my analog quads to walk style. Hey Adriano. Good, good. How are you? Joseph, how are we doing? Nice to see you, man. Oh, nice to see you, I believe. Yeah, it's always good. Come on through. Thanks, man. I normally buy online, so, yeah. you know, this is stuff I don't normally get to see. Where I, I have people come in. We like to show, that, you know, that, that customers touch and feel the parts. I know. Yeah. Online, it's a much different, it's a much different experience. Yeah. All right, so we're going with Walkstyle today. What do you got? Man, Walkstyle gear just came in. We've got the two new kits. We've got the Pro, uh, Pro kit and the V2 kit. Which one were you after today? All right, let's uh, let's go to Pro. Yep. Got my quad. There we go. Awesome, man. It's running analog at the moment. Man. So analog. Let's get that set to the new wall style system. All right, let's do it. got your typical freestyle pilot who they're looking to go from analog to digital what are they looking for in an fpv system so we've got a lot of customers coming in from a camera drone background um wanting to come in to experience fpv drone and traditionally what we have found a lot of customers do buy that analog system but we're finding after two three months they're looking to upgrade so quickly the core video feed because that that current system is not really transferable so what we're finding is the walk sale system has uh is fitting a lot of their requirements because you're getting that high definition video feed, which is really cool to see. Um, and then also Walks are coming out with a range of products that work from whoops to three string, five inch and, and a lot larger. So they're getting that application, that, that platform. With, with the walk style system, Darren, is there any major changes with the actual building process of installing a walk style system compared to your typical analog, you know, VTX and, and camera system? Normally with analog, the camera is wide onto the flight controller. The flight controller takes the video feed from the camera, processes it, renders the OSD over, over the video, and then feeds it to the BEX for transmission. So with the digital systems, it actually works very differently. What happens is all the, the camera connects straight into the video transmitter itself. The video transmitter receives the data from the flight controller and then re does all of the rendering itself before outputting it. Uh, in processing. But yeah, that's coming along really nicely. Uh, the install is going well. Fuck, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, I hope you forget something. Cable. Forgot to mount the fucking antenna. What's your so now I'm going to take this all apart and then put the antenna on. There you go. Do you want to tell us anything we're up to? Just I've just forgotten again, forgot to wire the VTX. All converted. Time to go out and fly. Go to the fly. We've got day with you. You. All right. So we're out at a secret flying spot. This is uh, J Web's secret secret spot, and we're going to rip some packs. It's a pretty cool proximity location, and I'm not a pretty cool proximity pilot. So when brothers are end up breaking something. What do you think? Yeah, it's cool. I, I don't mind it. It goes all right. I mean, it's a lot better today than the videos I've seen on YouTube about the system from when it was first released. So, you know, it's amazing what a good year in development has uh, for for a system. be interesting to see how far they can take it with another 12 months. And, you know, they're playing catch up to DJI by two years. So, you know, we will have to see. But... Now it's time to turn it over to the hands of our uh, tame racing pilot. Some say he is illegal 
in 17 US states. And he blinks this way. <laughs> what we know is he's called Jay Webb. And uh, yeah, Speedy B flight controller, I think has come a gutser in the wet grass. So we're done for the day. Time to head home and stick it on the bench, but wet grass and flight controllers, yeah, not a good idea. But Jay Webb owes me a flight controller. I do owe you a flight controller. <laughs> no, he doesn't. And shit, now it's raining. And now it's raining. All right. <laughs>